Okay, one thing that I forgot to highlight in my previous video is that a really nice feature is if we select um, fit up to 100% and if we basically drag out, basically you can see our um, machine um, renders out the video and kind of fits that in and scales that according, accordingly how I basically drag the footage out. So if I drag it out, it basically scales the video like so. Um, if you see, if I get, get to 100%, it kind of stops doing that. So that's really nice. And I can go back down. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, both of the options do the same. So even if I select fit, um, you can see it will still do the same. So it won't go larger than 100%, which is um, quite nice. And again, this has no bearing on our final output, what we see here. It's just like in preview mode. Next option we have is basically enables us to do a, a, apply a grid if we want to work with some level of precision. That's quite nice. And I'll come back to this is basically to do with masking, um, toggle mask and um, shape path visibility. We'll come back to this when we start doing mask um, using masking um, with some of the elements inside After Effects. This here is a time code. Um, if we click here, basically we can edit um, the time and it's the same as it runs in hours, hours, uh, minutes, and seconds, and the last is a frame. It's the same time codec. It basically, if we go to composition, if we go to new composition, it's the same here as well, the um, time code. So it's kind of the same going um, here. But we'll ha I come back to this option again. We can basically gives us the current time indicator. So if I drag here, we can see. Um, the current time, so that's quite handy. And again, the time is displayed in hours, um, minutes, seconds, and frames. Moving on, um, this is really, really important. This this feature here, which basically this is the resolution of what's being viewed inside our composition window. So what this basically does is it renders it renders out what we're seeing here. So if we select full, it's going to render full um, resolution of those pixels. If we go to half, it's basically you'll see that it's kind of pixelated. And that's because it's only rendering half of the pixels at the moment. So it kind of gives us the option to view. Now again, this has no b no bearing on our final rendered output, but it's basically another way inside um Adobe After Effects CS3, another way for us to kind of speed up our rendering and our process. So say for example if we were working with a load of clips and we want to render or preview them but we know that they're really good quality we can drop and render that half of those pixels and then we can do that a third of those pixels as well and then you can see the quality deteriorating and we can do a quarterly as well so that's quite bad um, and again if we drop jump to full this will this is what will the, f the kind of footage will um, look like anyway so it's not really it doesn't have no bearing it's just a way for us to speed up our workflow